Hey there folks, Mark Johnson, Tech Snobs. Doing a full review on the Samsung Galaxy Mega. Now, this is definitely um, by far the biggest screen you can get on any smartphone currently, or phablet as you would say. Uh, monstrosity, I, you know, I can't get over it. 6.3 inch display. It's a beautiful display though. It's not 1080p, it is 720p. Um, you know, looking at the hardware and design, I mean, it, it's definitely, you know, the bezels. Reminds me similar to the Galaxy Note 2 a little bit, um, kind of rounded, and it's just a, a you know a typical Samsung device. I mean, it still has the the kind of flimsy, glossy back on it. Uh, battery life is definitely decent. Um, you get a, a 3200 uh, milliamp hour battery with this, and you also have the the ability to add uh, micro SD storage. So it's definitely. Um, you know, nice there. And everything else is pretty much standard, which you would normally see on a Samsung device. Um, not a lot of whole, you know, things much different from an aspect of software. Um, it does, let's double check the Android version one more time. Believe this one, yeah, it's got 4.22. Um, I'm sure to get 4.3. But like I said, this is basically a big niche device for people that want to use a big screen. And honestly, it really comes in handy for something like YouTube. So we go into YouTube. I just want to give you an idea that you know just the scale of this thing. Mid-range specs, mostly everywhere else um, that you'll see on the device. As far as um, you know, it's like I said, 720p. You got you know a dual-core processor. You got the the one gig. I think it's two gig of RAM. Can't. I'm not sure if it's one or two gigs on here. Actually, let's double check that. I'll go in here and check the RAM. So you do get two gigs of RAM and uh, 16 gig storage as well. So let's just see if we can check out a video real quick. Let's just go ahead and play. Let's play this little thing with the little 2K. And like I said, when you look at video on this, it's just phenomenal. Uh, I, I just can't get over how great it looks. If you don't want a small tablet, get this. And so you look at that, and then you look at it compared to something like the Moto X. Here it is compared to the, the Galaxy S4. So that just gives you an idea of, uh, of where it's standing. And even next to the brand new you know, Galaxy Note, um, which is a big phone itself, it still pretty much kills it in literally every way you can imagine. Um, it's just a huge, huge phone. So, you know, that pretty much it for the, the Galaxy Mega. I mean, it's a nice device. It, it, it's fast enough. I mean, the camera is okay. It's not the best camera they put in. It doesn't have all the features of the S4. Um, I'll run a quick speed test. You know, it's got nice LTE uh, coverage and speeds, um, as you would come to expect from AT&T. But like I said, you know, infrared port to control your camera blazing speeds it really just comes down to this screen i mean that's honestly what this phone is for is for videos media pictures um all that good stuff and it's at 149 so not a bad deal so definitely if you want a big screen i can't stress enough the samsung galaxy mega is going to be for you it is unwieldy though i'm not gonna lie i put this thing in my pocket and, and it is you know sometimes if i have to bend down on my knee or something like that or pick up something from the ground, this thing jabs right into my thigh. So keep that in mind. So thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the site, tech-knobs.com for more coverage. Take care.